what's up guys you are highly welcome thanks a lot for the visit you know a lot of uh, doors a lot of uh, news have been going around about this disbursement and the money getting to uag account so in this video we'll know the, the reason for the delay the secret for the disbursement the procedure what benefactors uh, bene uh, beneficiaries rather the NGOs and the border heads and the rest ought to do from now and uh, the tips on when the disbursement will be will be ready we all will be exposed in this meeting that was held towards the disbursement and why the disbursement is delayed will be explained in this video let us pray that the coming next week it will be the final week of promising and promising let this coming next week be the week of uh, should i say redemption the week of we getting our money thanks guys for prescribing our channel let us keep our fingers crossed and uh, also pray that this week will be the main week we get the money listen to the meeting see you at the end of the video bye for now thanks for joining let me just start with some opening remarks and after that i will leave the floor open for you to contribute uh, into the meeting uh, first of all i'd like to say i thank everyone that uh, was a part of the contribution for the newspaper publication it became something of every week next week every week next week every week next week that uh, call for concern and so we thought it wise that we should um, at least let the president see this whole thing. Because uh, the only way to have really made that done is not by writing a secret letter and going to drop in National Assembly or going to drop with his PA to go and give him. That letter may never get there. The best thing to not to expose or to know what is happening in the secret is to expose it. And so that is what we simply did. So um, we contributed and then made efforts to make a publication. And I can dare say the publication got us to where we are today. Because Mr. President saw that publication on the same Tuesday we published. And by Wednesday, I understand he gave a written instruction to CBN to disburse this money. I have said that tonight I'll be a bit bold and blunt. I don't care whoever. Because truth must be told. The reason why they tell us to lock platforms is maybe to continue any hidden agenda, which MFM is not in support of such things. I've never been in support of locking platforms, even from the days of Tubert. I don't like it. Don't tell me. Don't suggest to me. I won't take that advice. It is an advice from the pit of hell because locking of the platform does not stop you from going to the CBN to go and disburse your money, as far as the money is there. So when Mr. President saw this newspaper publication gave an order the following wednesday 24 hours that this morning be disbursed but some people you know uh, from you know supposedly uh, maybe from the financial institution their bank or whatever arrangement uh, with some i think maybe political uh, whatever they went and explained to the president why it should be this week and for me, like I said, money was fixed, period. I will not hide my... That's what I mean. That is the allegation. That's what I know. Money was fixed. Otherwise, they wouldn't have said, let it come to this week. However, it has come to this week. And we haven't seen disbursement up till right now. But first of all, let me thank you because the newspaper publication met its target. If I were you and if I was able to do, we would have done another newspaper publication this week to tell the president that his order is bluntly violated. So that Mr. President can find out who is violating his orders. This is how to fix this country. At least if the president can answer the fact that he's not the one violating himself, he will find who is violating his order. And heads will start rolling and we will see results. That's what I believe in. Let the number one man be put on the spot, mean, nicely, it may be, and then we see things happen. If he's not a part of it, he will definitely, you know, get himself out of it and call who is next to be blamed and maybe who is responsible. He will know. 
So, but thank you because that newspaper publication did a good job to where we are right now. However, this week, they started some activities. You could hear money has dropped, blah, blah, blah. Let me also give you a perspective of what money has dropped meant. It means that they had access to the money. For me, it hadn't been a, any question about money has dropped. Money dropped since. That is what me I know. Money dropped. They, probably they had no access to the money because maybe the money was either fixed on, fixed, fixed on, all those kind of things. Or whatever other thing behind the scene. Maybe clearance or whatever. But money was available. So, but the question right now, maybe no access and no access. But right now, there is access. Nothing would have stopped them from disbursing that money latest today, at least, if not by any other thing, by the presidential order that came, in which presidency agreed for them this week because some people went and pleaded for whatever reason. We are on Friday and we haven't seen this busman. And they are still talking about this month. Being that once beaten to us shy, this is the same language that was spoken in December. December is December. December is December. It will not pass. It came, it passed. Next thing is January is January. In fact, even before then, we heard that even if they had one week, as if Gen December had extra one week, money would have been disbursed. Story till January. January came. January is January. January is January. This is where we are. No disbursement. This is now February. They are now saying February is February. February. Who does these things? Who, who, who I mean, how does this happen? So based on this, it is very difficult to just accept what promises they bring to us. Because we have been here many times. December is December. Even last year, November, it was November is November. This month, uh, this year, it was, uh, sorry, uh, not even last year, sorry, last two years now. Because, I mean, you can see, imagine the time we have spent. November is November, last two years. Last year, it was, oh, the ninth month is the month that will deliver. Month of, uh, that is the delivery, uh, the baby will be born. That has passed. So, having been in this kind of situation of promises, no result, promise, no result, we take nothing for chances. In fact, when we wanted to do publication, some people told me, don't publish, that I should give time till Friday last week. So, we would wait until the, the whole week will pass. What happens on Saturday, Sunday, you and I know, nothing happens. I accept hypes. They will hype that they, they, in fact, you hear that some NGOs have started receiving on weekend. Who, who is fooling who? So this is what calls for us not to take these people serious no matter what they say until we see a lot. And we need to take actions and steps that rather give us consolation that we have done some, something instead of locking platforms and going to sit down. I said, don't do any. Okay, the platforms, they ask you to lock this week. Have you gotten the disbursement? The platforms they ask you to lock this week. Don't make noise. Uh, I, will, I, I don't want to mention names now. Have you gotten the disbursement? So you see, it, it only encourages evil. And let me tell you the evil. Even though I know they were at CBN on or uh, last two days, they were at CBN yesterday. Nothing should have stopped the disbursement from happening late yesterday. Going by what they were doing. But I woke up this morning with a kind of, uh, 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 what do you call it, with a kind of uh, 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 information that uh, uh, that they want to shortchange, uh, delist some uh, 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 NGOs that were verified. Who does this? Do you want to delist in the middle of a disbursement that should have happened? So that becomes a UAAG, AGPGN, Wahala. You see, the problem of this country is that we are, no, we are not straightforward. Even at when people are dying, masses are dying, a lot of things are happening. People still, at the last minute, prefer to delist some verified NGOs and put in freshly favorite angels of theirs. Now, let me break some of this silence. It is the whole money of the second grant that has been split and allocated. The masses have their percentage. 
UAAG has its percentage, the country director has percentage with all the NGOs he is supposed to have. AGPN has their own NGOs, their percentage and the NGOs they are supposed to put under them. Think Tank has its percentage and the percentage uh, the NGOs they are supposed to put under them. Then the rest they gave it to masses. And if you compare the percentage the masses get, it is 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 well compared to the as masses get smaller. But that is not our problem. Our problem is not the percentages you're giving us. But the problem right now is why do you want to come and shortchange, remove some of the masses NGOs and put in your own instead of putting those NGOs in your own trillions and in your own uh, percentage? Why would UAH or AGPGN in any form want to delist and bring in their own NGOs into that of the masses percentage instead of putting it what they're supposed to do is put your ngo newly registered NGOs and favorite NGOs behind your own percentages don't come and disturb the masses ngos which are already you know uh, uh, gazetted so these things led to the delay now because today at least at worst case scenario we're supposed to start hearing a lot so by this their struggle now again the thing is moving into next week so we have again wasted this week and then they still say it's february is today not february was yesterday not february what is the magic that will happen on monday that is february that will bring the disbursement that couldn't happen today what is the magic that will happen on tuesday next week that couldn't happen today this is the dancing back and forth that i don't i don't understand and to any normal thinking person it should not be understood and we should take any action to make sure we see nothing but results, not promises. We are tired of useless promises. Promises to the pit of hell. We are not interested. Bring results, which is disbursement. So when I woke up with that bad news that I'm hearing that they, are, they want to delist NGOs that were verified. And in fact, they are even collecting monies into hundreds of thousands if you want your own to be there. What is stupidity? What is wrong with us in this country? At the nick of disbursement, could you imagine what is happening? So today now has passed. You have not heard any alert. Today now has passed. You have not, no one in you is disbursed to. Is it no stupidity? What level of greed is, is greed a cause on Nigeria? Is greed a cause on this country that even when we blame politicians, but when it reaches our turn, we uh, we we display the greed as if as if we were born with greed. This is now affecting the whole thing. The this week they promised us it has just passed. At least this is eight fifty three p.m. on a Friday. No disbursement. So what are we saying? How can we be dancing on the same page of they are saying that they want to delist some registered angels that were verified? They place it with newly favorite angels. So what should have been done is Ken Wakama, carry your favorite angels, put behind your own percentage. AGPGN, carry your own favorite angels, put behind your own uh, uh, percentage. Everybody like that, the thing, 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 place your own behind you. Don't come and want to shortchange that of the masses. It will be resisted. That is why I said, let us take steps. NGOs that were verified, if you went for verification and you went through the process, the form, Google form is out, fill it. Let us prepare for legal battle. This is the, the this is the modus operandi of MFM is proactiveness. I don't believe in wake up last minute and we say what do we do? Meanwhile, they have already shared the money and there is no nothing to do. You can't hold anybody accountable. Let's prepare ourselves, donate some money, put it down. Let us prepare a legal but at least for no other reason but to make them understand that Wahala is coming by legal, whatever. I will take them to court. Once they get that, they will immediately want to reverse and correct that thing. The next thing is to publish that list we have on the Google form and, and put it to the president that we have been denied. And then Wala will come, they will look for the heads will roll. This is the proactiveness that we are up to in, uh, 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 in MFM. 
because without this proactiveness these people will keep on changing us they will tell us to lock the platform i imagine what we were locking platform for so that they can delist some angels in thousands angels in thousands and if i am wrong you could hear that ustaz Zaud echoed it in his voice note that they are trying to make sure not one particular people you know bag uh, 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 pocket all this money that they want to ensure that every angel that was verified you know is listed but how long will we take to ensure that every angel that was verified is listed we, we, we can be delayed till the month out is out we are still dragging over we want to be sure that all angels that were verified is listed so the best thing is strike them prepare legal action contribute when they see that you're contributing money for that cause just like they began to see that we are contributing money for newspaper publication they knew nothing was going to stop it they started thinking of what next will happen the same thing i don't believe in pay lip service talk and talk and go i don't believe in such things actions speak louder than words I created a platform, joined the Telegram platform, created Google form, pick up, fill it, pay, make payments. Let us begin to engage the services of a lawyer or a law firm and put things straight. Put down the date of your, the date you, you, were, you were invited for screening. At least that's the proof that we can get for now. Keep other details. Keep your receipts that you paid. You can put the date of that uh, receipt you paid. Put it when they see that you are serious. Anybody who is not serious is never given a chance in this life. Once it's as if you are not serious, they will push you out. But once you show that you are serious in life, they will give you access because they know you mean business. And I don't belong to pity party. I don't belong to where you you, you oh, oh oh no 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 no. I must be proactive. That is the proactive measures we are taking. A platform is created, Google form is created. We let's start donating money. Angels, if you have put five thousand down, and um, Vondo heads, if you can support, then support us with one thousand. Because if your angel is dropped, eventually, what will happen? You too, you'll be affected. So the caveat I put there is that if eventually some angels that thought initially that they will not be captured they are now captured and they are paid whatever legal uh, uh, processing fees we spent when we deduct it we can return your what is five thousand now we can return it what is one thousand now we can return it but first things first put our house in order prepare for legal battle to stop any nonsense from happening we are tired of it Empty promises. This is how that week has passed. And this this week has passed. So by right, in fact, if we have enough money, we'll make a publication Monday. Tell Mr. President, this is the list they are trying to shortchange us. And up till now, your orders have not been obeyed. What is happening? And then you see that some of this nonsense will start stopping. So a reminder is necessary. Some people have even asked when we should do two or three times. That is the, the thing. Because once you begin to expose all these secrets, the nonsense will stop and we see this boss. Okay, see the one we just did now. In one week, see, see how far we've gone. So you can imagine that we, we add this pressure again. You will see that before you know it. That if we do not do something that they see that we are serious, Monday will come and pass. You know, every Monday is always quiet. Tuesday will come and pass. They'll be looking at Thursday. Thursday is the last day of the month, 29th, because this is a leap year. That Thursday, you see them come and make a voice note and then tell you, uh, please, uh, uh, we have done this, the TV situation report. Is this situation report we want or we want disbursement? Is it updates that when we used to beg them for updates, did they give us updates? No. We used to beg them, where are we? They don't tell us. But when they see that they cannot fulfill their promise, they come out and start giving us updates and try to give us hope. But all these things are useless because at the end of the day, they are playing with their intelligence and people are dying. That is why we say enough is enough. This February shouldn't pass. But seriousness for the end of February is shows from the first day in February. Most of us know when we advise our children, seriousness in school at the end of the term that you get results starts from the beginning of the term. How a student should read, study, you know, attend lectures. Do, it, at the end, it will speak. 
But when you just say, don't worry, and know how this month, it is this month. What have you done to make sure it is this month? It's today, not this month. Why didn't it happen today? And now, somebody will go and sleep on the bed. Saturday, Sunday. Monday, the person will wake up. The, somebody will be calling him from wherever in Nigeria. My NGO, you didn't include. You know, I gave you two million. You didn't. Be, the, the Monday comes, they go again and start fighting over which NGO to remove and which one to place in at the last minute. And Monday will pass. They will move it to Tuesday because they are not doing anything definite. They haven't told themselves this date. We are going to make sure there's disbursement. They haven't told themselves that truth. UAAG and AGPGN. They have not fixed that. Maybe on the twenty seventh. Or to 26th, we have to dispose that money. All they are saying is that don't worry, this February, this February. Anything that you didn't, if you if you want to do wedding, you didn't put a date, that wedding won't hold. You want to do Thanksgiving, you didn't put date, it won't hold. Because when it gets to that date, they, because there will always be problems, there will always be excuses. You only take the boat by the horn to fix a date and stand by it. But these two groups haven't done that. What is February? February is not the date. February is a range of days that may not come because there's no seriousness in the first place to show that they want to do that disbursement. If not even that newspaper publication came to ginger things, they wouldn't even show. To show you how lack of heart these people are. How can it be up till today? In fact, I was hearing some good news from day before yesterday to yesterday. But this morning, this, the whole thing changed. They are collecting money to, to replace NGOs. Can you imagine that? They are trying to short change and they are trying to delist some. So if Usazdaud is now saying that they are working to make sure, the truth is how long will you work to make sure that these things are done? Is it that the whole February will pass? They are still working, they are still dragging as they were fighting before. They say they didn't sign. They say this will say they have signed. They say the document is not necessary. Dragging of internal fight is the problem. So we have to call you AG and AGPGM to order. This madness should stop. What should they do? Ken Wakama, country director, carry your NGOs, go and register them under you, on your, under your percentage and your trillions. AGPGN, carry your favorite NGOs, go and register them under your own. I think on your NGOs under you, carry and register them under you. Leave the masses proportion alone. Leave the masses percentage alone. That's what we should tell them. Because that is what has delayed this disbursement up till this night. We cannot see it. Enough is enough. And we have to stand up to these people. The other day, I did something. I said, let us do it, Bajabia Milan. Some people were talking. I said, you people, do. this is the politician behind this thing. And he has to be told the truth that he's an ordinary Nigerian. Just that he's privileged to be the chair. So he should rather help us. That enough is enough. So that takes me to the issue of this bundle heads thing. Let me just crack a little on the bundle heads thing. Now, this is the issue with bundle and why maybe uh, it's difficult to say maybe we're looking for MOU or whatever. I don't even know that MOU thing. It may not be signed. So people like maybe on Julivia TV, they come tell you story. They say it, blah, blah, blah. Those things may not be done. Because one, they will try to make sure that maybe the thing broadcast may not happen. In terms of uh, maybe maybe for security reasons, I'm just saying may not. I may be wrong. But if they were serious by now, MOU would have been signed. But you see, because of this grid, it doesn't allow them. They are still wanting to delist NGOs. So if at all those things would be done, maybe the highest they would do is state something for for NGOs. NGOs will receive a certain allocation to go and share to their bundle heads and their subscribers. Just mark that this is how it will happen. Because they are not paying 1.2 billion Nigerians. They are not paying 1.2 billion as we initially submitted. So they will now allocate to each NGO, maybe like uh, oh, that's 3 or 5 or 10 or something. I have had 10. So we shouldn't be hearing five, except it was mentioned for security reasons. I have heard ten. But that means that you only have ten bundle heads. So the question comes, which bundle head will you pay? Which one will you drop? 
There is no NGO that has 10 bundle heads. There is none. There's no NGO with 20 bundle. There is no NGO with 50 bundle heads. NGOs have like 200, 400, 500, 700 bundle heads or more. And maybe number of bundles are also like more, maybe up to 700 or 800. And if they allocate a certain amount, maybe like 7 million or so, or 3 million or 5 million to a bundle head, that means 5 million times the 10 bundles that they give to that NGO. 5 times 10 is 50 million. And what you're now supposed to do is share that 50 million amongst all the bundle heads. Because that is what is allocated. But if you specify like that, that means that it is not still going to be enough. Because they have also allocated money for subscribers and which upon based upon which it can be shared. So wisdom comes that whatever amount, whatever number of bundles, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, allocated to an NGO, any NGO should go and look at how to, you know, uh, uh, be fair in distributing those bundles, determine a certain amount per bundle. Because that is how I will approach my a certain amount per bundle. Then shade across all the bundles you have. Some people have 10, some people have 20, some people have this, some people have that. Add up all your bundles. Determine a figure. If it comes to 50,000 or 100,000 per bundle, times all the bundles, that should be accommodated in your own uh, uh, NGO. Then share it like that so that it will help those who gave more and supported your NGO more. If someone supported you with five, but you sponsored five bundles, sponsored this, you should be able to also, you know, give uh, the five. So if the amount comes to 50,000 per bundle, I'm just giving an example, 50,000 per bundle, times the five, you give it to that person, times this, you give it to that person. On the question of one, one bundle per one bank, I don't know about that. UAG has not said anything like that. None of this information is coming directly from UAG. So if UAG means it, let them come out publicly and say it. So as far as it's not coming from them, for me, debunk that information. Because angels should be able to walk around how to sort out their bundle heads. As far as UAG doesn't recognize the bundle heads officially, but they have made provision for them to be cut, to be taken care of. But through the NGOs, just like uh, uh, Ustaz have said. They have made provision such that an angel should be able to rally around the bundle heads and know what to sort them out. So the figure that will come to each each angel, they will now have to see, okay, how much do I give per bundle times the number of bundles? Then Mr. A, five bundles, take. Mr. B, two bundles, take. Mr. This is how, depending on how they all contributed. Then you determine a certain amount for, your, for those that are, what do you call it, uh, subscribers. That is that is how it's supposed to be done. Now, if they want us to sign a EMO, you let them bring out the set other conditions and state certain things that will guide us. But up till now, they haven't done it. They're still trying to do listing, delisting, listing, delisting, which is rubbish. So for me, we have to start calling these people to be, to tell us what the next to be done. If they are not interested in the MOU, which I would say, no don't bother yourself about signing MOU. Don't bother yourself about broadcast. Those things may not be done. Focus on disbursement. Because it's like that broadcast and that MOU, it is for us to have uh, what to discuss for the week. And the week will come and pass. We'll be asking how about the MOU, how about this? We'll worry ourselves about what does not exist and what will not happen. So what we should ask of them is disburse the money. That the only thing we want here be that. We don't want to hear story. We are tired of stories. Give us our money. And that is the campaign we have to begin immediately. So that is how the bundle heads will be captured. The bundle heads are, must be accommodated by the NGOs. Whatever amount will be given to the NGOs, if they give three bundles, those three bundles will be shared. The amount will be shared toward the bundle heads in that listing. But that is according to the number of bundles. But also remember that the NGOs have their bundles to annex it. The way may I understand it. Because is uh, when the bundle was given, bundle was taken. Was give one to this, give one to this. If even if they say they have assigned a certain amount of money to NGO, it is this amount. That money can work. The same thing as the money they have assigned to NGO uh, bundle head cannot work. They say maybe five million to NGO. Uh, sorry, to bundle head. 
but how many bundles will they give to an angel three bundles so are you going to pay three bundle heads so who are you going to drop which bundle head are you going to drop among the 700 bundle heads you have to pay three they will be wahala so the truth is that you should share the money meant for those three bundle heads share it to the 700 bundle heads that is what it is but i'm saying that that is still not going to be enough so what that means is that whatever amount of money whether it is they say this is of subscriber this is for angel head this is for for bundle head when they give it to an angel angel should come and look at it and reappraise and see how to at least do something fair because the angels will not cheat themselves they too are bundle heads of the bundles they brought in so this is how to understand this mathematics and arithmetic because they are not paying 1.2 billion Nigerians that we all submitted everywhere. And so therefore, you cannot say how much the subscriber getting. The subscriber, which subscriber will they pay? Which one will they not pay in three bundles out of 1,000 bundles that an NGO submitted? I believe you get the picture. So what bundle heads should know is that they are accommodated in the in the distribution of money in the allocation of money to NGO. whatever money will be given to the NGO will have to be shared to the bundle heads and the subscribers on other unit that is why you started hearing some people say okay maybe bring list of 20 bring list of 50 bring just depending on what will be given of the subscribers and then they can share that but the priority will be those that supported the NGO should get something. At least top priority, they should get something. But I'm saying that whatever is going to be given to the NGO is at a location. Because if you give 5 million per bundle and you give three bundles, which bundle head will you give? Which one will you drop? So the truth should be that multiply the 5 million times the three bundles. That is 15 million. Share it to your 700 bundle heads but that will still be too small so th therefore the onus is left on the NGO to look at how to factor in that's why they say okay maybe even make some of your your uh, bundle heads to be subscribers it's because a certain money too maybe up to i don't know how much is allocated maybe one million so pay bundle head sorry sorry pay subscriber and so they have to look at it and like, okay, we cannot do this. We we can we have more 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 bundle heads. Let us now rework the money and share per bundle. How much should be? Maybe fifty thousand, maybe hundred thousand per bundle. Times the number of bundle each bundle head has. So, in the area now of um um one bank one bundle one bank one bundle, I'm saying that we should disregard that information. I say so, so that if UAG is the one saying it, they should come out clean to say it. Because for now, that information is not coming from the official source and should actually not be regarded. Because NGOs should be able to work around how to settle their bundle heads. I also just feel that some NGOs who feel stuck are trying to change the bundle heads by that argument, by, by you know, insinuating that it is one bundle. So if you have 100 bundles, you have to provide 100 accounts. I don't understand that language myself. However, if it is from UAG, those are the things they should say publicly. Let us know. Because they themselves too, they have bundles. They themselves too, they have uh, uh, this thing. So how, is that how they will be doing it? All right. So let me begin to wrap up. So what we now want to see is NGOs, those you have attended, let us pull up with. If it does not happen, well, they have tried to say they walk around it. But to show them seriousness, start your contribution this night. Start your contribution. Show them that you mean business in case Monday fails. They start misbehaving. They do not accommodate all those verified NGOs. That you make them understand what Allah will happen. Tuesday may be publication. If the money is enough, that's why I call Bondo Hills. Please join support. We make the public mess up. This is the list, though. We will verify, though. But we are hearing that so changing us. Open it up. Unlock the secrecy. And then you see help can come. The worst thing to do is die in silence. This is where I would like to bring this to an end for now. I'm walking around the bundle head, sorry, not the bundle, the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, NGOs thing. 
and them delisting and all of that. They're trying to get make sure that every NGO is listed. But I ask the question: How long will it take to solve that problem? Because you know, an internal wala it can drag till the February finishes. So that is why I say that MFM's way is to be proactive, put the necessary things on ground, bring up a group, create Google form, uh, create the platforms, uh, make the payment. Let's get the service of a lawyer. Get ready. That is why I call for that payment. It has a clear purpose, uh, uh, direction. And where it fails, or maybe at the end of the day, some angels get listed who initially thought they would not be listed. Then we can, after taking the, the, the legal processing fees for whatever.